What's going on guys? A little bit dark still. Sun's coming up. Best part of the bloody day. Larissa and I would like to say thank you guys for getting us to 30k. We've just been out camping, we had to come back into town early for some work things, so I'll roll on a clip of a little bit of camp stuff and I'll see you guys back here when it's a bit <laughs> a bit lighter. Look how clean it is. That's so clean. Yeah, take this. So he's getting you off. Good day. How we got this water? This is in along the coast, right? So actually crazy what just happened. We're still at this beach here and we're just cruising out. Look how close we are. I've come over this rock and there's just a crayfish sitting there. So um, we all know coffee and uh, crayfish is Larissa's favorite. So I'm gonna jump in and see if I can grab him. Oh. Oh, it's too slow, he had a real deep hole. Uh, what did that say? Who bloody knows? It said something on the screen. All right, so we made it out to the reef now. Um, we had a little bit of a detour. Some people um, just flagged us down and we helped them, well, Josh helped them start their motor back up. So we've made it out here now. Josh is diving. It's so clear. You can probably see, can you see him under the water? I think so. Um, so we're just gonna get some fishies, get some in the esky because we have nothing at home. Um, we're all out, so just try and get some. I think we oh we actually seen a jack before, two jacks, pretty big ones from the boat. So hopefully Josh can find them and we can get some jack, maybe trout. Um, I don't know. We haven't had tusky in a while. Maybe there's some tusky around. <laughs>
don't know if you can see that, but 127. We just pulled up at the island. We're bloody starving. Haven't eaten all day. So the crayfish from this morning. Got my glow in the dark knife. I've got these peri peri chips. We're just gonna crush some up and put them in that bag. I'm gonna sort this crayfish out and um, we're gonna have some crayfish wraps. So, I'll put you there. Hope you can see me, maybe. Knife in there, work around the edges. Give it a twist. Oh, so much meat. Put that there for later. A little bit of tail. Oh, no toe. And I'm just gonna, I think you can still see me, I'm just gonna run my knife down there, crank it all out. Nice hard one. <coughs> Crack. Boom, there we go. Got it. Got two halves there. I'm just gonna get this meat out now. Yeah, catch. <laughs> Sorry, it's just going. <coughs> Not a crayfish fan. So maybe I'll just put my finger under that and get it out. I'll just slip down the sides. I don't know if it even helped me or not. Got the crayfish bits. So yeah, we'll just wait until that all goes white and, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna bang it a wrap. The rest and I don't drink very much. But when you catch sailfish, in the last video, and then you pull up to an island like this and you get a crayfish, what do you reckon? Crack one open? Crack one open. For the boys. Yeah. Or for the girls. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. Tyra's just done a flip and knocked you over. We are all ready. Yes. <laughs> Smells that good, eh? Yep. I would recommend using chips. We just use chips all the time. Sometimes it's easier than carrying crumbs. Well, because then you just eat the rest of them. Yeah, true. Oh, they rolled away. <laughs> I love that boat. Might keep you. And you. Done. Are you giving us a taste test or am I? Okay, if you want. I can if you want. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, because I'm hungry. Once again, wrap. Nice and peri peri. Nice and peri peri. Mm. Don't you know, pump it up. <laughs> you got to pump it up. <laughs> All right, we're about to have a play on a. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> About to have a play on our goose hill sup. Oh my god. See ya. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Hey, shit. Oh, we gotta get out of here. There's more coming. Uh oh. 
Look at these waves, man. This thing's sick. It fits in our boat. Literally just fits in a backpack. Paddle and all, just folds up tiny. Man. Not that you get sick of spearing and fishing and that, but sometimes you've got to give the fish a break. Or sometimes they don't bite. Man, look at that. Look at what I'm looking down. How yeah, bloody good. So, there's going to be a little bit of a different ending to this Reef Addicts episode. A few lads on a, on a birthday trip. I don't know if you can see that boat out there. That's a bloody nice boat. Um, come over and just said g'day. Had a couple beers with them. And uh, I was going to have to go get something for dinner. And they got like a... It was in between 20 and 30 kilo um, yellowfin tuna the other day. So they said, oi, do you want to come over for dinner? And we're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so um, we got our little camp set up again, this little tent and that. Um, and yeah, we're heading there for dinner. So they're going to come back for sunset, have a bit of a fire. Um, and yeah, that'll do us for this episode, little one. Alrighty, we've run out of time. She's 8.30 and I've got to head, head into work now. I've got about half a day to do, but... Um, we didn't find a barra, however, we got a nice finger mark. So, that'll do us for Larissa and I for dinner. Larissa and I, you know what I was trying to say. Um, <laughs> I didn't find the barra I was after. I was looking one dead in the eye and my GoPro wouldn't turn on. Come to the uh, jet ski and fixed it. And then I went back and he was long gone. So, no barra, but that's all right. I actually got one a few months ago and I'll throw that shot in now. Um, and yeah, I gotta head off to work. So I hope you've enjoyed the little camping session and a bit of the bit of jet ski session. And we'll see you on the next one, eh? Ah, oh, shit. Gotta turn the traction control off. We're off roading. Come on, baby. <laughs> there we go. Hold on! Ah, yeah! Go, go, go! Come on. Ah, shit. Thanks for 30k.